welcome to another adventure you're going to get some history today so we're just to the east of Penrith on the A66 and as you start to get just after the dual carriageway starts you'll see the sign there saying Broom I used to think it was called Bruffle but recently learnt it's actually called Broom and I've come this way for a specific reason the bridge I'm now parked on or pulling up on was destroyed in Storm Desmond of 2015 and it's all been kind of put back together but let me take you across the road Broom Castle recently discovered that we would have thought this river is doing the course that it's doing oh no it wasn't that is a man-made set of bricks or stones to divert the course of the river along here and to stop the erosion in the bank because as you can see but all of this here all this here was a massive great pond or lake that was put together when people occupied the castle that castle now belongs to English heritage and we're going to go and see if we can have a look inside that there was a bridge there medieval times but in between the A66 you can just see the A66 bridge over there in between there and this bridge there was a Roman bridge other side of that river used to be Scotland and Penrith well that was the first town in Scotland not that long ago actually so anyhow, let's go and have a look at Broom Castle. Looking totally and utterly splendid today. But also nearby, there's a Roman fort, which I knew nothing about, and I'm sure there's quite a lot of other people knew nothing about. But in 17, early 1700s, the guy who owned this, who didn't really stay here, he took the roofs off and just put it into ruin, emptied all the contents out and put it into ruin. And over the years, of course, it's just got into a dilapidated state, which is now being protected by English heritage. But a lot of the stone used to build the castle was taken by the nearby Roman fort. And this is a mile away from the Battle at Clifton at 1745. What a fantastic piece of architecture. And it's also associated with Bruff Castle. And Bruff Castle is where the Bruff Castle ice cream place is. If you're not a member of English Heritage, I saw when I was coming in, I think it's about six pound for entry. And you can buy the guidebook of it all. That costs three quid. But 
also a woman by the name of Lady Anne Clifford was prominent in this area and she owned four castles in Westmoreland that was the old name for this area at Appleby, Brough, Pendragon and Broom well we've looked at Pendragon Castle before and we've done Brough Castle we've done Appleby Castle and now we're doing Broom Appleby was probably the main castle but she moved around and occupied them at different times this illustration shows Lady Anne Clifford being greeted by her steward on arrival at Brougham or Broome <laughs> on the 14th of October 1670 and on the right there you've got members of her household but she left here to return to Appleby in 1671 and Appleby Castle is very much prominent with Lady Anne Clifford and it has one of the oldest keeps in Britain So this is the castle of Roger Clifford, Lady Anne Clifford, Roger Clifford. In the late 14th century, Broome Castle was again an effective border of defence. However, in August 1388, there was a Scottish invasion of Northern England. In this illustration, we see a group of merchants who have arrived during the preparations for the castle's defence. And a lookout on the top of the keep has alerted knights in the courtyard to a possible attack by Scottish forces. Roger Clifford was responsible for much of the building work at Broome, including hall, kitchen and chapel. These were all on first floor level in a range of buildings which can be seen on the right. He died in 1388 and his building work was the last major change to the castle until the middle of the 17th century. On July the 22nd, 1300, Edward I stayed the night at Broome Castle on his way to Carlisle and this illustration shows him being greeted by Lord and Lady Clifford and beside the King is his arm bearer and they are followed by a host of knights. Roger Clifford was an important figure in the Scottish Wars which began in 1296 and he died at the Battle of Bannockburn in 1314. This illustration shows the castle as it may have appeared in the early 13th century. The great windows in the keep are closed with wooden shutters to keep out the cold. Tremendous construction, isn't it? So this is Broome Castle, just on the east of Penrith. And instead of zooming past on your bike, you can get yourself here and explore. <laughs> 